Ever since it was announced that MHA will be heading towards its end, there has been a large amount of people who have been overdosing on copium, denying that the series is ending. They like to tell themselves that there will be some type of My Hero Academia Shippuden, and the story will continue to follow our group of young heroes as they go through the rest of their school year or when they're heroes. But yeah, that's not happening. The author said it himself, MHA is going straight to the gulag because he is ready to wrap things up like a Christmas present. But you know, I can see why people think that the story is not ending yet. Where we're at in the story and where the students are at, it's far too early to end the series. I mean, these guys are not only in high school, but they're still in their freshman year. And of course, there's other types of theories and hypotheses for why they think this series is not ending, but there's one reason that we have not acknowledged that all of us are sharing right now, and it's that we're not tired of seeing these characters. We don't want to see these characters go. Believe me, I'm in the same boat. I love these characters. I love this series. I've practically grown up with the MHJ. But unfortunately, we all must face reality. All good things must come to an end. Which is why Dragon Ball will never end. Good times never last forever. And unfortunately, MHA will be ending soon. There'll be no more arcs, no Shippuden, and no sequel. Now I know you're asking yourself, but why would there not be a sequel to MHA? Why would there be no MHA follow-up? No MHA Shippuden. Well, first things first, look at the pacing of the story. This man Horikoshi is writing this story like it's 11.30 p.m. and he has to have it turned in by 11.59. This man is full speed ahead. No slowing down for anything. This man is trying to end this manga by the end of 2022. Which sucks because throughout MHA, Horikoshi has taken his time building up to things. We have been conditioned to be patient, to slowly but surely get to our destination. He would set something up in one chapter, then put it on the back burner, but oh wait, don't be mistaken, he didn't forget about it, he's still whipping up something in that pot back there on the back burner, all while his attention was on the big pot on the front burner. Then when the time was right, BAM! Brings the pot that was on the back burner up to the front burner when you weren't even expecting it. For example, look at the reveal of Dobby during the Paranormal Liberation War arc. Easily a top five moment in the entirety of My Hero Academia. This reveal was built upon slowly but surely throughout the story of MHJ, buying the hair dye during the start of the series, calling Shoto an endeavor by their govies, having it revealed that his flames hurt him every time he uses them. It's like rolling a snowball down a hill until it's big enough to hit someone with. There was a proper time and place for the payoff to plot points. Now, we're just getting conclusions left, right, center, back to back like they're being fired out of a machine gun. Like a lot of you, I love the Paranormal Liberation War arc. In fact, I think it's the best arc in MHA. And just like a lot of you, I was excited to see what a post-war MHA world will look like. But apparently, Horikoshi had different plans and decided that he's ready to send MHA straight to the Shadow Realm because he announced that MHA would be ending right after his biggest arc. Did you know the Villain Hunt arc? You know, the arc where all the villains escaped from prison, turning the world into a GTA Online lobby was only 22 chapters. The Stars and Stripes arc was 6 chapters and the UA Trader arc was 8 chapters. Now excluding the Final War arc, that gives us 36 total chapters spent in a post-war arc. What? 36 chapters in total. T to put that in perspective, the Shia Hisaikai arc, you know, the Overhaul arc, was 41 chapters total. What? Bruh, Horikoshi, EXPLAIN YOURSELF! Why did we spend longer in one arc than we did in three post-war arcs combined? Why? Sorry, I lost my composure there for a minute. Y you know what makes it even crazier? Is that we spent 155 total chapters in a world without our blonde Superman. I defended the ending of the Paranormal Liberation War arc for months afterwards. I defended it with my heart. I was on the front lines defending it. Everyone was complaining about how there wasn't a clear winner, how the villains didn't just kill all the heroes, how, you know, there wasn't a clear winner. But I was saying that there was a winner. The villains won. They might not have killed all the heroes, but they destroyed society. And we were going to see that after that arc. I thought we was going to get like another 100 chapters in a post-war arc where everything is basically Gotham. I wanted to see more Vigilante Deku. I wanted to see the Class 1A become vigilantes and fight all these different types of villains. I wanted chaos. I wanted riots. 
But nope, all we get is Deku fighting two villains in the rest of his class, Shigaraki fighting a character from the JoJo's world, and an underwhelming traitor reveal. This man Horikoshi really wants to send MHJ to the Gulag, and it's obvious, and if what I said earlier wasn't proof enough, not only is he rushing to the end, but he's making sure to wrap up all the plot points that people actually care about. We had the reveal of Dobby as Toya. We had Bakugo's apology. We had the UA traitor reveal. Mirio got his quirk back. Endeavor's atonement arc is coming towards its end. These plot points and many others are all being resolved at a rapid pace. It's almost like chapter after chapter they're being resolved. Horikoshi is making sure to wrap up all of the important plot points before he banishes MHJ to Wake Mundo. Now, there is an argument for a continuation of the series because there's a few plot points that haven't been solved yet. Who is Gigantomachia really? The exploration of Class 1A and their backstory and a resolution to Aizawa, Present Mike, and Shirakumo. But a lot of these plot points unfortunately aren't that important or better yet, haven't been shown much importance. I mean, Aizawa, Present Mike, and Shirakumo basically had all their storytelling done in a prequel. And after seeing Monoma just copied Kurigiri's quirk for the final battle, there was little to no doubt that this storyline will be resolved. And it sucks, but it is what it is. At the end of the day, if Horikoshi wants to send MHJ to the Shadow Realm, then it's gonna happen, and there's nothing we can do about it. I love MHJ. I hate to see it go. I wish it could go on for another 10 years, but everything must come to an end. After his previous mangas were canceled, I'm glad to see Horikoshi not only had one of the most successful series in Shonen Jump history, but he's able to end it on his own terms. As much as I would love a sequel series, I kind of don't want to see one. I kind of want to see the story end right here. I mean, my biggest reason for not wanting a sequel to MHA is that the sequel series could ruin the legacy of MHA. I mean, look what Boruto Next Generations did to the Naruto franchise. I am 102% sure that if they had the power, all Naruto fans would have Boruto banished to the deepest place in the Shadow Realm. But yeah, MHA Shippuden, a sequel to MHA, it's not happening. And unfortunately, as much as I would want it to happen, it's unlikely that it will happen. Everything's being wrapped up in MHA and there will be no need for a sequel besides just gaining money. The end of the series will see Deku finally achieve his dream of becoming the world's greatest hero. Let's just be appreciative that we got My Hero Academia in the first place. Now while it hasn't ended the way that the fans wanted to, imagine living in a world where My Hero Academia never existed or even worse, it got cancelled. I don't know about y'all but that's a world that I do not want to live in so let's just be glad that the greatest new gen series is ending. All right, guys, this is the end of the video. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and share. But without further ado, see you guys in the next video. Deuces.